Hi there, it's Sarah, and I'm bringing you a recipe video today. This one's going to be super casual. I'm just going to be showing you and talking you through how I've been making my own homemade granola recently. I absolutely love granola. I love all the textures, the crunchiness, the sweetness. So I set out to create my own healthier version, and I just wanted to share it with you. I'm going to start off with five cups just of regular rolled oats, a full cup of wheat germ. I got this in the bulk section at Sprouts. It's really inexpensive. It's full of really great vitamins for you. I also have on this side uh, one cup of oat bran. I have an assortment of nuts. This is one cup and you can use any type of nuts that you want. You want to make sure that they're raw because we're going to be cooking them for sort of an extended period of time. You want, don't want them to get too toasty. I have some raw walnuts and some raw pecans. And then you also want a half a cup of seeds. I have a mixture of sunflower and pumpkin seeds, again, both raw. Then optionally, you can add two tablespoons of whole golden flax seeds. You could also probably add them ground up if you wanted to. These just have healthy fats for you, and again, lots of fiber and some protein. To sweeten the granola, I have a fourth a cup of coconut sugar. You could also use brown sugar or raw sugar. It's up to you. Three-fourths a cup altogether of a mixture of maple syrup, and some agave nectar. You could use brown rice syrup, you could use a little bit of molasses, there's even bee-free honey now, which I think is made of apples. I've never tried it, but I'm curious too. So as long as you have about three-fourths a cup of wet sweeteners, it's gonna work fine. Then lastly, I have a cup's worth of dried fruit. I have cranberries, golden raisins, and raisins. You can choose whatever type of fruit you want. We're not gonna add this until the end after we've cooked everything because they'll get dry and burnt if we uh, bake them. So first things first, you want to preheat your oven to 300 degrees. We're going to cook it for a slightly longer time at a very low temperature so that the mixture can dry out and get crunchy without burning. Pretty straightforward. We're just going to mix all of our ingredients with the exception of the dried fruit into this bowl. And I also forgot to mention, you can add other flavors in, like I'm going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon. You could add some uh, vanilla extract or some orange or lemon zest if you'd like. Coconut flakes would also probably be really delicious. I'm going to use my hands just so that I can make sure all of the oats are very well saturated. Now we're just going to throw this into a 300 degree oven and you're going to set your timer for 15 minutes and we're going to stir it and then repeat the process a couple times. So after 15 minutes, you want to stir it up very, very well. And then you want to make sure, again, that it's in a very even layer. And you can see it's starting to get a little bit golden brown and toasted. Okay, and now back in the oven for yet another 15 minute segment. And we're gonna repeat the process just one last time. So here is what our finished product looks like. You can see it's evenly browned, and if you touch it, it's dry. I've made this recipe a few times, and I really wanted it to be like store-bought granola with like chunks in it. And the first couple times I made it, it was just really flaky, and the oats weren't sticking together. So I played around with it, and actually, if you, after it comes out of the oven, just press it down into your baking pan, so then it's just really nicely and tightly packed in there and then do not touch it at all until it's completely cooled then uh, it starts to form nice chunks in there at this point i'm also going to add in the dried fruit i'm just going to sprinkle it over top once your granola is completely cool just go ahead and transfer it to any airtight container i like to use a mason jar this recipe is so easy to put together and it's really inexpensive especially if you have access to sprouts or some other place where you can get your nuts and seeds in bulk and of course it's a lot healthier for you because it has no oil for one and it also has very little sugar in comparison to store-bought brands hope that you enjoyed this video and that you will subscribe to my channel if you're interested in more vegan cooking and lifestyle videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!